Today, the PO35 Speak samples nothing? Freebeat. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to Freebeat, where I post new music-related content every single day, so if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and be sure to check out my upcoming free live stream concert, Freebeat Live, one year later. It's on Saturday, July 31st at both 11 a.m. Pacific Time and 7 p.m. Pacific Time. Hope to see you there. Let's get started. So we are once again outdoors here, and we've got the PO35 Speak this time. One thing I like to do here at Freebeat is uh, try to come up with creative ways to uh, sample using the PO35 Speak and then see how its uh, internal synthesis engine uh, takes care of those sounds. And uh, today I figured we would sample as close to nothing as possible. So normally when you hold down record and pick a slot and don't make any noise, you can see it says wait there. It's waiting uh, to pick up a signal, actually. So uh, the closest thing to nothing that I could think of would be to move this up and down uh, fast enough that the little microphone right here uh, picks up the wind noise and, uh, and kind of just samples that. So uh, let's give it a shot and see if this works. I hope it does, because if not, I don't have a video planned for today. <laughs> so here we go. Record slot one. Oh, it picked up the sound of the cable hitting. I'm going to unplug it really quick. Now let's do it. Okay, I think it did record that. So uh, let's go ahead and plug it back in, set the volume. Let's listen to what it recorded. <laughs> That's kind of fun, actually. Let's go ahead and get to the secret menu by holding effects, record, and pressing six to get to the mix page. Now we can affect the amount of noise as well as the volume. So let's max the volume. And we can get rid of the noise entirely. And we're left with this. All right, let's press the effects button to get out of that. Now we're in the tone section. We can mess with the formant. There we go. Now we can trim the sample and pick the speed. So we can speed really quickly through it, or we can stretch it out. And select the uh, starting point. Now, if I move the speed knob to uh, zero, or negative 127, I guess it is, it basically sustains that note the whole time, and we've effectively just turned the wind into a synthesizer, um, or just like a single note. But that's not very much fun. Let's go ahead and shorten the speed down to like negative 113, 112. <laughs> yeah, that's way more fun. Now we can have some more fun and change the playback style. Um, let's hold effects and try auto-tune. <laughs> kind of fun. Retro. Actually, I'm gonna go back in really quick and uh, change where it starts. I don't like that little uh, blip in the beginning. There we go. That's much better. Hopefully you guys can hear like all the bugs in nature around me right now. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's try noise. Yeah, that's my least favorite playback style. Robot. Fifth. Vocoder. And synth. Let's go back to auto-tune. Yeah, that's pretty good. So let's go ahead and sequence that, like on beat one, and uh, let's extend the playback of that through the whole measure. Put us in C. Okay, and it just keeps repeating there, so I think if we chain a few patterns, I think it'll keep playing. No, it won't, okay. So that's going to be the basis of our jam, is that... Cool. Uh, that's quite all right with me. 
Let's go ahead and go to the drum kit now. And uh, let's just go four on the floor. <laughs> let's get a different kick. That one's pretty good. Let's put that in instead right there. There we go. There we go, a little bit of automation on the uh, kick. Let's go ahead and uh, reapply this actually. Let's take this note, put it right on one. And then play with the length, get it all the way. Then we can copy this pattern into a new slot. So pattern one, we've got this note right here. And then if we go to our second pattern, we'll uh, put this once again on beat one. But we'll uh, bump it up to a D instead of a C. So if we chain the first pattern three times into the second one once, we should get uh, three C's and then one D. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> All right, sorry, I'm just fixing up our pattern real quick, drum wise. Yeah, there we go, that's sick. Sorry, I'm not really explaining this. Uh, these are more just kind of about seeing what we can do rather than the uh, exact process. I'm just programming the drums. You guys have seen me do this a lot. And if you haven't seen me do this a lot, then you're probably not subscribed to the channel. So go ahead and do that. Wow, I never do like mid-video subscribe plugs. <laughs> um, anyway, let's uh, just go ahead and jam on this. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start using the effects, uh, both switching playback styles as well as some drum effects. So let's go. <laughs> All right, that was awesome. Uh, I just learned something new about the PO35 Speak. You can do two effects at once, I believe, as long as one of them is a playstyle change up here, uh, the first eight pads, and then the other one is a drum effect down below. That is pretty wild and uh, very powerful and just adds to the uh, 
all around awesomeness that is the PO35 Speak. So if you guys did enjoy this one, be sure to leave a like on the video. If not, you can always leave a dislike, that's okay too. Doesn't hurt my feelings, just makes me try that much harder next time. Either way, be sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Thank you so very much for being here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.